My name is Kylie and I'm one of the communications officers at the Waterloo Region District School Board and today we have Lisa Schatz who is a Sotheby Public School music teacher joining us to speak about distance learning. Welcome Lisa. Hi. So much of music learning and teaching is face to face. Tell me how you're adjusting from in-class lessons to a distant learning environment. Well, to start, I'm trying to maintain, I'm trying to think that it's the relationship first. It's connecting with the kids first and the content is second. So I am doing things like making funny hooks or posting funny videos or something to get them thinking, but also remembering that we, are, we can have fun together. What is your preferred distance learning teaching tool and why? I chose D2L, Brightspace D2L, and it was really hard at the start, but I chose it because visually it seemed like a uh, place where I could create a space online that looked like we were together in music. I've used photos on there from our music room at Sotheby. I'm able to put other things in to make it visually different and a place where they know where they are. You talk about the importance of maintaining student relationships during this time. What are some ways that you have done this? Well, first of all, when I'm online and if I posted something, if a student responds to the post, I am sure that I respond back. I want even feedback, even from a little one word comment, doesn't matter. I give some sort of response just so they know that I know they're out there. Also, uh, right now I'm working on trying to figure out a way to do recorder karate curbside times. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, first of all, recorder karate is a little program I use at Sotheby where we learn recorder pieces and they are leveled just like you would have with regular karate. So white belt in recorder karate, which is the first one, would be hot cross buns, all the way up to black belt, which is Ode to Joy. And these belts they get are just little pieces of embroidery thread in different colors. And for some reason, the kids are really motivated to earn these little threads. And then they tie the threads around the bottom of the recorder. And what is the curbside part? Well, first of all, I'm in the neighborhood, so I can bike around. This is my home base here. And so what I, and I tried today for the first time, bike to a student's house, measure a spot on the driveway that is two meters or a bit, one place for the student to sit, one place for me to listen, and then I can listen to them live, but still be socially distancing. The shift uh, to distance learning has been an adjustment for everyone, staff, students, families. Has there been any time when you have felt very proud? And if so, can you share? Well, I'm gonna talk about the student I heard today playing the recorder on her driveway. Um, actually, both her and her sister really advocated for themselves, which is, I thought, quite impressive. The This all started, the recorder karate curbside started because her younger sister, who is in grade one, emailed me and she said, Mrs. Shantz, I can't get on the music website. So I called her dad and sorted that out. So first of all, a grade one emailing me was <laughs> quite amazing. And then the second part was when I called, the other student piped up and she said, wait, how am I going to play these for you? How can we do this? I want to I want to show you what I've learned. And I realized, well, I needed to figure out a way that was authentic, that they would feel Good, so those two uh, students, I'm quite proud of that they figured out a way to get through to me and show what they needed and show what they learned. That's awesome. We appreciate you taking the time today to speak to us and share some of the things that you've been doing since coming online. Um, and we wish you all the best for the remainder of the school year. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my pleasure. <laughs>